Hi guys, welcome back to the Get A Breed channel. So today we're in Norfolk, um, going to visit our friends at Chris Malt, and we thought we'd swing by and catch up with Miranda and Bates, who have set up what is such a beautiful uh, brewery and such a beautiful location here at Duration Brewery. Come in, check this out. Authentic, such great heritage here. Um, if you were gonna choose a site to open a brewery, you certainly wouldn't choose this site. So you can see that they've overcame all the challenges with the uh, Heritage Commission, environmental health, and just generally turning a building that probably shouldn't be a brewery into something truly beautiful. So come in and have a look around. In the building behind me, we have cold storage in the left-hand side, which is for hop forward beers and just keeping beers stable cold storage is the way forward. Unusually they have a water treatment plant on the left hand side here behind me because of the location that they're in um, and the heritage they're not able to put uh, their wastewater or effluent to drain so they have to have a water treatment so water gets treated on the way into the brewery and water gets treated on the way out. Waste is all recycled, malt is pumped out, taken into containers, all put back into the food chain, local farmers collect that. You can see here malt delivery from our pals at Chris Malt. So whenever you enter the brewery, you'll have a look around, you'll see the heritage, the old walkways along the top, the exposed beams. Um, everything's been very carefully and deliberately installed in a way that makes it just a, a nice environment to brew in. So we have a brew con brew house. It's a 20 heck brew house and we've got a tank farm. Um, we've got so that's six, um, 40 hec tanks, 120 hec tank in the bottom. A beautiful mill with auger system, augering straight in, condensers on top of the um, brew house. So you can see that it's a really nice environment to be in. They have installed heaters, nice lighting. Interestingly, we've had the Rye River guys with us and um, our own brew team here. Everybody's loving the drains. Everybody's loving the floor. It's just, a very well thought out brew house and we've enjoyed some beautiful beer tasted them straight from the tank one of the unique things about here is in comparison to ireland and north or south is that they can sell direct that they can open a tap room in the beautiful grounds around here and bring the locals from the villages in sit down sell direct to them and really make an important part of their living out of that. That's one thing that we need to see happen in Ireland. But you can see in the UK, this is working exceptionally well. Into the packaging area. So we can see packaging is a three head Cody cannon line. I think it's the first Cody cannon line in the UK. The um, depalletizer is probably the nicest depalletizer that I've ever seen. Um, nice. Um, conveyor coming off with twist rinsers and um, again beautiful drains beautiful floors and just generally a nice environment to work in so a lot of thought has went into this brew space you can see that they've taken the heritage of the site and put a modern brewery in it a functional modern brewery that the team here are having great fun and making great beers we have a lovely little tap room on the right hand side here and you can see We've got an interesting addition here with a cool ship and some oak footers. And if you want to come in and have a look, we'll uh, explain to you what goes on here. So cool ship is um, when the wort is inoculated at the correct temperature, usually when it's cold, long nights, um, the wort's created. And then rather than cooling it as you normally would, it comes through here and sprayed into the, the cool ship. You can see the cool ship's been split into two to allow them to do different batch sizes. So um, Bates was chatting to me earlier, he said that the beers that he's been making so far, he'll cool ship them for a few days, then he'll inoculate them with his house culture and put them into the, the footers. Um, 
experimenting with lots of different stuff in the footers. Obviously, a bit like ourselves, footers is a bit of a passion project. It's something that you're going to work on long term. It's not something that you're going to see returns from really quickly, but it was such a pleasant exchange to be able to talk to someone about aging beer in oak, going back to traditional methods to try and get information from them about how you would do it in your brewery. There is a lack of knowledge and information on footers in Ireland, and it was a pleasant experience for me to be able to exchange some of his ideas and tips that we can then incorporate into our footers whenever they arrive in our new brewery. You can see that um, we've got a shop on site here. So office environment, the guys are working here, they're serving customers as they come in. Customers are getting to see the beautiful oak that's on display. Cold beer, brewed fresh, straight from the brewery. What could be better? So guys, that's our very quick whirlwind tour of Duration Brewery in Norfolk. Highly recommend you check this out. Check their website out, start ordering some of their beers. The beers are phenomenal. Thanks so much to Miranda and Bates for giving us some of their time at the last minute to give a look around the brewery and entertaining us and providing us with some lovely beers to take home with us. Until next time, happy brewing.